Okay, here we have a, I'd say, quite tricky uh, question about a ray of light entering a water droplet. Um, have a try, and then we'll see if we can come up with some kind of agreement on how to go about doing this problem. Okay, so yeah, I think that the tricky part from this comes from the fact that we're usually used to dealing with flat interfaces. Okay, this is a curved one, it's a droplet, and so therefore it's a circular shape. I think that's quite a tricky thing to, to deal with. So, um, hopefully my explanation here will, will kind of help you see where to go with this. Is really just a playing around with a bit of maths and a bit of um, the equations that we've got here. Okay, so we're asked to find what sine of the angle theta is. And it's important to remember that, that sine of angle is the angle which is being refracted. Okay, it's our angle of refraction. So we're going to be thinking about Snell's law. And we're going to be applying that here. Now, before we do that, I think it's important to do a couple of things. To firstly think about making the picture a bit bigger so we can actually see what's going on. And I've done this just for a bit of clarity, but also so that we can apply something here. Here we've got our normal line. Now, if we're dealing with a circular surface like you may have done in a, um, the semicircular prism, the normal line always points radially. In other words, it will exit the um, circular shape at a right angle. And it can only do that if the, this line comes kind of straight out along the radius of the sphere, which is what we've got here. Okay, now, this, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can do make my measurements a little bit easier. We've got these dimensions H and R, and they're going to be important later because if I draw a little triangle up here, you should be able to see that this triangle um, allows me to make measurements for the angle of instance, which I'm going to call alpha. Remember, we measure angles with reference to the normal. Okay, so we're going to enter an angle alpha here. Now, this triangle has exactly the same ratio, so it's made of the same kind of um, portions as the triangle, which is formed by this H and this R. Okay, so that is going to allow us to calculate sine alpha, and you're hopefully going to see how this works. So if we pull up our equation, we've got N1 sine alpha equal to N2 sine theta. Okay, now N1, or we're going from air into um, light. So therefore, N1 is just 1 here. N2 is going to be just our refractive index N, so it's going to clear up. Tricky bit is the next bit is R over H. Okay, um, really I'm limited here by the size of my screen. I could have drawn a triangle which has the same dimension here, hypotenuse R and height H. You notice that our line came along this horizontal dimension here, and so therefore they would have to all be in proportion to each other. So this triangle here is the same as this triangle here in terms of the proportions, and therefore sine of alpha is just simply the ratio R over H. And this is the key to getting the question, because as you can see there, we've got things in the form that we want. We've got R over H equal to N sine theta. Well, all we have to do is bring that N to the bottom, which gives us our answer B. Now, I think this is quite an awkward one, but I think that really the test here is your understanding of where the normal line here is and then how we can use that to make our calculations. Hope that's clear. And if you've got any questions, please let me know.